What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So today's video is going to be covering the topic of the new graphics card that I purchased. Uh, so if any of you follow me on Twitter, you know uh, from earlier today that I posted some pictures of a graphics card that I just bought. Uh, I'm going to be just briefly discussing kind of what led me to purchase this graphics card. Uh, why I went with this particular card. I'm going to be doing a review on it later and I'm going to be cutting to some quick clips of me actually taking out my old video card and putting in the new one. So uh, without further ado, the card that I decided to go with is this one here. It is a GeForce GTX 650. It's uh, the 2 gigabyte edition. This particular card is made by PNY. And I've posted a, a, a picture of it here on the Oh Hey It's Lou Facebook fan page. And I also put in here that it's a Linux-friendly graphics card, which kind of seems like an oxymoron because almost no video cards are quote-unquote Linux-friendly. Um, I've had almost all AMD or ATI cards. Uh, I had a laptop that had one of those horrific hybrid cards that would use the uh, Intel integrated graphics. Um, to lower power consumption and kind of extend the battery life and then for higher intensity um, you know tasks like maybe games or applications that included that needed you know uh, large amounts of video rendering and so on it would use uh, the AMD card nightmare for any of you who are familiar with those hybrid cards you know how much of a nightmare they are I finally got it to work but uh, the laptop motherboard ended up dying so um, you know, I thankfully didn't have to deal with that any longer, but that was a nightmare. Um, long story short, if I want to continue to make these videos for you guys, if I want to try to do my part and give back um, to the community as best as I can and kind of de deliver um, the message, quote unquote, I guess if you want to put it on a really large scale that I'm trying to deliver, um, I needed to kind of make an investment <clears throat> because it's gotten to a point with that particular graphics card where and again if you follow me you know that um, the modern day desktops that are taking uh, advantage of 3D rendering and so on uh, I was having a hard time doing screencasts with that particular card and I had a feeling that it was a limitation of the card itself so I did some research um, this particular graphics card is by no means high-end uh, but it's gotten some really good reviews I can tell you already that I've inst that I've uh, installed and played Team Fortress 2 as well as Counter Strike Source. Phenomenal, um, no stuttering, no lag, super smooth. Couldn't be happier with the performance. Uh, per you know, it, it, this card performs really, really well. Um, it runs pretty cool and it runs pretty quiet. Uh, right now, it's at about 28 degrees Celsius. Um, you know it stays pretty cool I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with it and uh, again it, it just runs really really nice and the drivers that I installed right here in Manjaro Linux uh, work flawlessly uh, work really really well and couldn't be happier with the card so if you're a Linux user and you're trying to find a nice uh, graphics card that you're not gonna have too many problems with I've tested this card in um, Ubuntu and Ubuntu based distributions as well as um, Arch and Manjaro and it works in all of them really really well so pretty flawless now uh, this particular card I'm uh, again you know it's gonna run you depending on where you go I bought this at Best Buy about hundred and sixty dollars I had a at Best Buy you can find it cheaper online um, <clears throat> and I had thirty dollar gift certificate to to Best Buy so that's mainly the reason why I purchased it there um, I picked this card up uh, for cheaper than the one gigabyte edition so it is GDDR5 RAM and uh, it's a pretty powerful card but again it's not super high-end but uh, for the kind of gaming that I do and um, the kind of computing that I do this is going to be perfect so good price point not super high-end and um, very Linux friendly so we're going to cut uh, to a quick clip of the installation. I'm going to show you guys me. Uh, I'm going to show you my old card. I'm going to also show you um, the inside of my, uh, of my case. And then when I come back, we are going to talk a little bit about um, 
<clears throat> kind of what's going on with AMD and what's going on with AMD particularly in the Linux community. All right, so uh, we're going to cut to a clip of my old graphics card in the inside of my computer case. Okay, everybody, here we are in, uh, <clears throat> in the belly of the beast, if you will. What you see right down here is the ATI graphics card that I am going to be taking out. Uh, and before any one of you uh, keyboard warriors out there says something like, oh, you should ground yourself before you touch your computer, I already did that, jokester. So uh, <laughs> we're all set, but that is a good tip. Make sure you ground yourself on something, on something metal before you start touching any uh, components inside your computer. Um, <clears throat> if you see right back here, there's um, a little tab to get this card out. You just push that tab down. All right. I've already come over here and undone, uh, undid the screw. All right. So now that that tab is out, I should be able to just lift this card right up and out. Um, I am going to be replacing it with this particular card right here. This is a GeForce GTX 650. This is the two gig model. Um, it's an NVIDIA card. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this card out. If I had a tripod, I would just show you guys how I do it from beginning to end, but um, I'm, not that <laughs> I'm not that good. So I'm gonna pull this out and, and I am going to uh, put the other one in and we'll come right back. All right. Okay, and we are back. Uh, sorry about the quality on that, guys. I did use my uh, Galaxy Nexus to record that. It does record in 1080p, but I did make some adjustments to the camera afterwards. So the next clip that we're going to take a look at, which would be post-installation of the new card, the quality is going to be a little bit better. Let's head over to the Arch Linux Wiki. And this is one of the main reasons why... Um, not main reasons, but a, a large reason why I'm, I'm moving away from AMD. And, of course, I'm running Manjaro Linux, which is a derivative of Arch. So over here on the wiki, it says that Catalyst has been dropped from official Arch support because of dissatisfaction with the quality and speed of development. Compared to the open source driver, Catalyst performs worse in 2D graphics, but has better support for 3D rendering. Supported devices are ATI and AMD Radeon, uh, Radeon cards with uh, chipset R600 and newer. So, you know, that's basically Arch's take on... AMD Catalyst, which kind of sucks if you're, you know, an AMD or ATI user. But if you're on Manjaro Linux, they set up a Catalyst repository. So over here on Manjaro's wiki, it says, since the introduction of X Server uh, version 1.14, unfortunately, Arch Linux no longer supports the use of AMD Catalyst graphics cards. This is because AMD seems to be focusing exclusively on the XORG server version 1.13. I'm assuming this is because of, you know, it mentions Ubuntu here. Um, you know, Steam specifically, I'm sure, has something to do with this. They've said basically that they're endorsing Ubuntu 12.04 as the primary distribution if you want to run Steam and Steam games. Um, and I'm sure that has something to do with it. Uh, it also says here in the wiki that, however, the Manjaro team is uh, continuing to support systems using Catalyst graphics cards and so have provided a separate repository for this purpose. Those who need to install proprietary drivers for Catalyst graphics cards must therefore enable access to this repository by adding it to their Pac-Man configuration file. Now it goes on to give you a nice detailed instruction step by step of how to do that. Before I actually yank the card out of my PC, I did try this, work like a charm, was able to install the... Uh, the driver no problem. So head over to the wiki. I will include a link in the video description below of this particular uh, wiki entry here. So any of you have uh, ATI, uh, Radeon, um, Catalyst Control Center uh, graphics cards, you can use this to get the uh, the driver installed. So you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, move to a clip of the installation process of my new graphics card and then uh, I'm gonna come back and get kinda give you guys my final thoughts on on you know the Nvidia move and and how I've liked it alright so we'll be right back alright and we are back guys uh, just got done installing the new graphics card which is again this PNY GeForce GTX 650 um, I'll give you more specs about the card and why I chose that card uh, later in the video. I just wanted to show you guys that we're pretty much all set. 
this is what the card looks. It's all nice and seated. Um, I've uh, screwed everything back in, so super easy. There's just on my particular case, there's just this one piece here, one screw. Pull that out, gives you access to uh, all these panels. As you can see, that's the back of the graphics card right there. Um, it takes a six-pin power connector coming off of the power supply, which I had, so that's in there all set. Um, as you can see, I've got my SSD that I installed up there. Um, this case didn't have a bracket for an SSD, and so what I did, and you know, this could just be something that you guys put in the old memory banks was, I took some Velcro, double-sided Velcro, put it on the bottom of the SSD, put it on the case, and I actually have the SSD Velcroed in there. Here's the original one terabyte Seagate drive that came with the, with the um, computer. And then, down here, underneath all these cables, of course, as you can see on my RAM, I got four four gig sticks that I upgraded. And uh, there's the Core i7 CPU with the fan. I could probably get a nicer uh, CPU cooler, which I probably will. Uh, and that's my power supply. Um, the power supply on this baby, and I'm reading it right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 450 watts. This particular graphics card only needs a power supply of 400 watts. So there it is. There's the new NVIDIA. Let's uh, cross our fingers and hope I did everything right. And, uh, which is a really easy install, so everything should have went fine. And um, we'll try to get everything put back together. I'm going to dust this baby out before I put the, put the uh, case back together again. And uh, we'll fire her up and see, see how everything went. Okay, as you guys can see, uh, taking out a graphics card and putting a new one in is a fairly simple process. Um, you know, so this move to NVIDIA, I feel really good about it. I'm very happy with the card. Again, I spent a lot of time doing some research on just the right graphics card for, for me. So if you're a Linux user, you want a graphics card to be able to play some of the modern games, specifically stuff on Steam, you want to be able to maybe get into screencasting or you know really take advantage of these uh, 3D compositing desktop environments, I highly suggest this graphics card. It's a mid, you know, mid range in terms of price, um, but I think for the price point, it offers a ton of performance, and I am really, really happy with, um, with you know, my decision on purchasing this particular card. Now they do offer an upgraded version. I believe it's the 650 Ti. Uh, again, that's a little bit beyond what I wanted to spend on a card. Uh, I know I made an investment into the channel, but I didn't want to drop uh, too much cash on it. And again, I'm not a super, super uh, committed gamer. I, I am getting into games, which, by the way, for those of you who have added me on Steam, thumbs up. I'd love to be able to play some games with you guys. I am terrible at Counter-Strike. I am terrible at Team Fortress 2. And I am just getting back into uh, Half-Life uh, Half Life 2 Deathmatch. So bear with me. If we ever get together and play some games, um, I'm terrible. So you'll have to carry me, but it's cool that you added me. So hopefully in the future, maybe a bunch of us can get together and um, and jump in some uh, games. But anyway, um, that's my thought on the NVIDIA card. I'm sure I'll be talking about it more in the future. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're getting a little bit into hardware now. And I know in ter when it comes to Linux, uh, especially with graphics cards, it's really good to have information like this, I think. Uh, to be able to make informed decisions when you want to drop some money um, on some hardware and you want it to work well. So I can't be any happier uh, than, than, what I, than what I have with this card here. I highly recommend it. I give it two thumbs up. Hope this helps, and until next time, we'll see you guys later.